Christopher Morgan. Email is that Christopher Morgan, T H A T C H R I S T O P H E R M O R G A N at gmail.com. Christopher, what are you going to do for us? I'm going to be singing It's Hairspray and then a monologue from The Nerd. I'm not texting, I swear. <laughs> Here we go. What gives a girl power and punch? Is it charm? Is it poise? No, it's hairspray. What gets a gal asked out to lunch? Is it brains? Is it dough? No, it's hairspray. If you take a ride with no can at your side, then your flip will be gone with the wind. But if you spray it and lock it, you can take off in a rocket and in outer space, each hair will be in place. So if you're a redhead, a blonde, a brunette, then take my advice and you might just get the only thing better than hairspray. That's me. I'm Corny Collins, the only thing better than hairspray. That's me. He follows me. He, he takes an interest in my work. He seems to have unlimited time, unlimited funds. Brother Bob's life savings, it, I guess. The other day, not sure I can talk about this yet. The other day, I had to take a commuter flight to St. Louis. That's where they're building the outside elevator for the Regency. And Rick wanted to come along. So I tell them, well, okay, it's not going to be much fun, but so of course he came along. And everything's fine. We're at the, you know, we're sitting next to me on the plane at DC-8, I think. He's got this stupid little pilot's hat that he bought at the airport and leafing through a bound copy of Red Book. Then the plane starts shaking. The uh, seatbelt light comes on and people are in fact starting to get alarmed. And what happens in the middle of this? Rick jumps up, stands in the middle of the aisle and shouts, urinate, urinate, or your kidneys will explode. Honest to God. And the worst part is that I think, well, actually, no, I'm pretty certain some people did. <laughs> I mean, he was wearing that dumb little pilot's hat and that shirt and tie he always wears. and. In a panic situation like that. Anyway, naturally, the very next thing we hear is, uh, we experienced a little turbulence back there, but we're out of it now. We'll be back in St. Louis in one minute. And Rick just sat down again, with no idea how many of those people wanted to murder him. Honestly, I think the only reason he escaped is because the ones who really had the grounds didn't want to stand up. Thank you. <laughs>